Welcome to the Using Application Control with Traffic Management video tutorial. During this brief video, I'll explain and demonstrate how you can use application control with traffic management to control bandwidth used by applications or application categories. Application control is a subscription service that enables you to monitor and control the use of applications on your network. With traffic management, you can set the maximum bandwidth available for different types of network traffic and you can guarantee a minimum amount of bandwidth for specific traffic flows. When you use these features together, your Firebox or XTM device can enforce acceptable use policies for your users in addition to control your network's bandwidth and traffic flow. In a policy, you can specify separate traffic management actions for traffic in each direction. In Application Control, you can select a single traffic management action for application traffic in both directions. There are three types of traffic management actions that you can use to control your network traffic. If you create and apply an All Policies action, the bandwidth settings are shared between all the policies that use that action. In a Per Policy action, the bandwidth settings apply individually to each policy that uses that action. If you use a per IP address action, the bandwidth settings apply to traffic from each client IP address. Whenever you want traffic management and application control to work together, there are three steps to follow. You need to create the traffic management action, create an application control action that uses the traffic management action, and you need to enable application control in at least one policy. Let's take a closer look. In this first demonstration, I'll limit the amount of bandwidth that can be used for video over HTTP. Why would you want to do this? Well, one possible reason might be that your organization wants to discourage streaming videos but not block them completely. First, I need to create a traffic management action with a bandwidth limit that I want applied to this category of applications. In Policy Manager, I'll start by adding a new traffic management action. I'll name this action Max 1000K because I want to limit the bandwidth that is available to videos to 1000 kilobits per second. When naming your actions, choose names that are as clear as possible. A complicated naming convention typically only adds confusion later on. Trust me. You can add a description here if you want, but because it isn't required, I'll go ahead and leave it blank. I want this action applied to all policies, so I'll leave this field as is. Here is where I'll set the maximum bandwidth for this action. I'm choosing to limit the bandwidth to 1000 kilobits per second, but you can choose any limit that you want. When setting your bandwidth limits, make sure this unit's drop-down menu is set as you expect. You can choose from kilobits per second, megabits per second, or gigabits per second. Now that I have my traffic management action created, I need to configure Application Control to use this action. In Policy Manager, I'll open the Application Control Actions window and add a new action called Control Video, like this. I'll name this action Control Video, and just like before, I'll leave the description field blank. Because I want this action to apply to all streaming videos, I'll click this button and select the Streaming Media checkbox. You can choose as many or as few categories as you want when creating your own actions. Remember, I created a traffic management action to control the maximum bandwidth, but I haven't applied that action to anything yet. I can use this drop down menu to change from dropping streaming media to applying my Max 1000K traffic management action. This limit will apply to all streaming media for all policies that use this application control action. So, if there is more than one HTTP policy, it'll apply to all of them. Now I need to edit the HTTP proxy policy. If you don't already have an HTTP proxy policy, you'll need to create one, or you could use an HTTP packet filter policy. In Policy Manager, I'll double-click to open the HTTP proxy. Here I'll select the Enable Application Control checkbox, and then we'll select the application control action that I just created. Notice this icon now displays next to the HTTP proxy policy. 
The icon displays in the action column and is a convenient at-a-glance reminder for knowing which policies use application control actions. The last thing I need to do is save the configuration to my device. There are many ways you can use application control and traffic management together, but to keep this video from becoming a full-length feature film, I'll just show you one more example. If you have a lot of people who use remote access applications, such as RDP, Citrix, or GoToMeeting, and you want to guarantee each of them a minimum bandwidth to provide a higher quality connection, then you want to use traffic management and application control together to guarantee bandwidth per IP address. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to guarantee the amount of bandwidth available for RDP on a per IP address basis. The first thing to do is create the traffic management action. Just like in the previous demonstration, I'll start by opening the Traffic Management Actions window. Then I'll click Add and assign a name to the action. I'll call this action min768kbps per IP because I'm going to guarantee a minimum of 768 kilobits per second per IP address. I want to point out that this action guarantees bandwidth only if the bandwidth is available. It can't magically add capacity to your internet connection. Once again, I'll leave the description field blank, but feel free to add one if you want. I'll set the type drop-down menu to per IP address because I don't want this action to be policy-based. During the previous demonstration, I set a maximum bandwidth, so I used this field. Because I'm guaranteeing bandwidth this time, I'll type my bandwidth amount here. You may have noticed that as soon as I set the type field to per IP address, the maximum instance field appeared. Use this field to specify the number of client IP addresses that you want this action to simultaneously guarantee bandwidth for. I'll set my maximum instance to 50. Let's dive into the implications of this field a bit more, just so everything is as clear as possible. The maximum bandwidth that this action can guarantee is the guaranteed bandwidth, in this case 768 kilobits per second, times the number of client IP addresses you want to guarantee it for. If you have 10 users and are guaranteeing 768 kilobits per second per user, you're actually guaranteeing 7680 kilobits per second of bandwidth. If more than the maximum number of client IP addresses use this action, the instances start to share the available bandwidth. Next, I need to tie this new traffic management action to RDP in my application control configuration. In Policy Manager, I'll open the Application Control Actions window so I can edit the global action. I can easily locate RDP by using the search field. There it is. To edit the application control configuration, I just select the application and then click Edit. As you can see here, the Set the Action for All Behaviors drop-down defaults to Drop, which isn't what I want, so I'll set it to Allow like this. Once I set the Action for All Behaviors to Allow, the Traffic Management checkbox becomes available, so now I can select it. I'll use this drop-down menu to choose the minimum 768 kilobits per second per IP action that I created earlier to guarantee bandwidth for RDP. Next, I need to edit the outgoing policy. Oh, a quick side note. If you don't use the outgoing policy in your configuration, you can create a policy for RDP. I want to enable application control, so I need to click here. I want to use the global action, which is selected by default, so that makes things easy. The last thing to do is save the configuration to the device. That's it! I've successfully guaranteed bandwidth for RDP. After saving this configuration to the device, I can open Firebox System Manager and see the per IP address action doing its thing. The Traffic Management tab is a convenient and rather powerful tool. 
One thing I really like about it is how I can expand the parent actions and see each instance. I've shown you two ways to use application control and traffic management together, but there are quite a few other opportunities to use these features together that you might want to explore. For more information about using application control and traffic management together, visit the WatchGuard website.